What's up, party people? Today I have kind of a fun video for you guys. I'm going to be testing my damage with the new uh, crit cap that was added to Decron. So I'll be testing my damage at 300% critical damage, and then I will also be testing it again at 400%. So make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of this epic content. Let's get this party started. Okay, so before I go about increasing my VIT, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is test it as it is right now. Oh, I'm in a party. I can't do this in a party. And as you guys know, my favorite place to do this is Duix, so of course I'm going to be doing this at Duix. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buff up. Now, I'm not going to use my Rising Vigor VIT buff just because I already put some VIT brands on my uh, armor, and I don't want to go over 300%, so I'm at 293, which is a little bit lower, but it's pretty close to where I was before, so I'm just going to leave it there. And then I'll go about getting 400%, we can see what the damage is. So I do think I'm going to use 10 Rand just because that is my highest hitting skill, so we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping that it's not going to be too strong and end up... Uh, killing the boss with my other skills but we'll just kind of see what happens here so yeah let's see what this does i'm kind of excited to see what 100 percent increase in critical damage does it'll be kind of fun okay so let's try this first so let's go ahead and hit our trans we're gonna go ahead and use this and i'm not gonna use i don't think i'm gonna do the dark resist i think that's probably a bad idea so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do this guy this guy and then we'll do 10 Rand. We'll see what we hit there. 577k. Okay, so we're starting out at 577k, which is already really high. And now we're going to see what the other one gives us. So let's go ahead and we're going to change up a couple things. So I need to get to 400% VIT, which is actually a pretty big jump. So I did go ahead and I got some... Oh, did I some return scrolls? And I got some items that would help me get my vid up right away but one of the first things i'm going to do is i'm actually going to change my crest costume uh i'm going to remove the damage from it and i'm going to put in vit gems so let's do that first oh i can't use my mount all right so i'm gonna go over to the crest guy i forgot pliers from this event so this will be really easy to change and then i'll show you what else i'm gonna do so let's go here uh, crest costume. Okay, so we're going to go here, and what we're going to do is we're going to extract a crest, and we're going to be extracting the spirit and the spirit. Oh, it only lets me do one at a time. All right, well, uh, yeah, this doesn't get destroyed, right? No, I don't think it does. Whatever, we're just going for it. So I extracted, extracted that one, and I'm extracting that one. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add two crests. As you can see here, I have two 110 vits. These are not the best by any means, but, you know, they'll be enough to definitely increase my vit. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to do that. Okay. Um, so now we have this. So let's see where my vit is at right now. Okay, so now with my buff... We are at 315.9%. So I have a couple other things that I can change here. So one of the first things I did is I actually went and bought a couple items. We, well, one was those crests. The other was I actually went and bought a plus 9 Tristy armlet. For those of you who don't know, this gives 20%. In a perfect world, I would have been able to buy two of these, but I can't afford two of them, so I just bought one. So I'm going to change that. So now I am at 335%, which is pretty nice. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do, some of this stuff is going to be sacrificing my attack, but we're just going for the VIT, so that's all that really matters to me right now. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to use the DK Platinum Mirroring, and we're going to switch it out with the Pure Moon. So that's actually a pretty big drop to my attack, but it also brings me up to 347% VIT. So we're only about halfway there right now, so we still have a ways to go. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out my Wedding Ring for my Legendary Dragon Necklace, which will drop my attack again, but it'll bring me up to 360% VIT as you guys can see right there. So I think that is all I can do without buffs to bring up my VIT, unless I got some other items. Um, I could have bought a wedding belt too. I didn't really find anyone selling one of those though. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some buffs to cheat, just so that you guys can see what the damage is. So I have two uh, or a couple different items that are gonna raise my VIT. Um, I'll show you them right here. This buff, this buff, and this buff. 
Okay. So let's go ahead and go to do maze and get ready to do this again. And then we're going to try this out. I'm really excited to hit to see what I can hit. So right now, before I do it, you guys have to tell me how much damage you think I'm going to be doing. So I hit, what was it, 377k? So Or I'm sorry, 577k. So let's see that. I'm going to change the channel here quick to reset my trans. So we're going to go ahead. And we're going to... I already got an extra camouflage so that I can do this again. We're going to go on in. You guys are probably like, wait, you're not at 400% yet. Oh, I will be. Don't you worry. Okay. So, right now, we are at 361%. Not too bad. And I'm going to start using my buffs. So I have, sorry, I got too much stuff in my inventory. I have three buffs that are going to help me with Vic. One is going to be the Monster Fang, which gives me 75. That's going to bring me to 366%. Next, I'm going to use the Mudroot, which is going to be another 15%. And then after that, I'm going to use the Reinforced Black Scroll, which will give me another 15%. So now I am at 396% Vit. I actually thought I was able to get a little higher than that, but I guess not. Um, that's okay, though, because I did have a backup, and the backup for that is while I'm doing the skill, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spam this skate fish, and what that'll do, as you can see, is it'll bring me up to 400% vit. So this is my goal right here. So let's see what kind of damage I can do, guys. This is going to be really fun. And this buff actually lasts for five seconds, so I just got to make sure that I, I spam that when I actually use the skill so that I get the full the full amount. So, I think I'm all ready. You guys excited? I'm excited. Let's do it. Duix is going to be like, what's going on here? I don't even know. All right, so I got this. I got this. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. And then I'm going to launch Tenoran. And we are going to hit 755k. Oh my gosh, guys! That's almost a, that. That's like a hundred, what, like like a hundred and eighty k percent or uh, amount increase to my uh, Black Wizard um, on his crit. If I use the buffs and stuff, that is pretty insane. So as you can see, that one hundred percent increase to critical damage is going to make a huge difference in the game. And I, I, I don't even have it optimized, right? Like I don't even have it optimized. That was just you know using like buffs and stuff. But if I get like another Tristy Armlet and I get like a Wedding Belt or something like that, I'll be able to make this, you know, more of a permanent thing versus, uh, you know, having to use buffs. Anyway, I thought you guys would find that kind of fun. I found it kind of fun. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you know, make sure to let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. As always, you can leave them in the comments. And until next time, guys, take care.